All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. I've been wanting to change up my intro and do something different every single time, so I'm starting off today. We're back playing some more Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, but this time we're using Wo Chen. Wo Chen is a Legends of Ruin Pokemon who I have not used yet. I use uh, Shen Pao and Chi Yu. The only two I haven't used is Wo Shen. And last but not least, the deer one. I totally forgot his name. I think it's like Ting Lu. Something like that. Something like that. Don't hold me to it. But like I said, we got a Wo Shen team today. Really cool Pokemon and really good at stalling the battle. It has Tablets of Ruin, which actually lowers the attack by 25% across the field. So if you can get this Pokemon out here, set up some Leech Seeds, drop some Snarls onto some special attackers. I'm telling you guys, you can stall out this battle a lot. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But definitely want to be more spontaneous on the channel, not do like the same old intro, same old stuff. Definitely want to try to start switching up. So if you guys have any suggestions with that, definitely leave them in the comment section down below. But the first Pokemon we have for today's team preview is going to be the one and only Don Dozo. Don Dozo is over here with Tatsugiri with the Unaware as its ability and a Life Orb as its item. It's got Wave Crash, Terror Blast, EQ, and Protect. I'm loving this moveset. Tatsugiri, Danto's best friend, is going to be our second Pokemon with Commander and a Choice Scarf as its item, which I think is the best item for any Tatsugiri. It has Money Water, Draco Meteor, Icy Wind, and Sleep Talk. Wo Xian is going to be our third Pokemon, and I'm super excited to use this Pokemon. I love stall teams. I love playing it slow, especially with Arcanine, and Arcanine is actually on this team as well. Wo Xian has the uh, Tablets of Ruin ability, like we already mentioned and went over. Has the leftovers as item that recover HP at the end of every single turn. Then we got Ruination, which is a new move brought into Generation 9. And if you guys do not know what that does, it actually depletes the enemy's HP bar by 50% of whatever their HP is. So, pretty cool move right there. Definitely really good with a stall Pokemon like Wo Xian. We have Leech Seed, we got Snarl, and we have Protect for our other three moves. Fluttermane is going to be our fourth Pokemon, and Fluttermane is going to be a big time special attacker for the team. It's got Protosynthesis, it's got the Choice Specs as item, and then Rock and Moon Blast, Hex, Dazzling Gleam, and Mystical Fire. Arcanine, like we already mentioned, is on the team. It is our fifth Pokemon with Intimidate and the Figure Berry, and then my favorite moveset for any Arcanine Flare Blitz, Snarl, Will O Wisp, and Protect. Mwah. God put it on this earth just to be perfect, and that is the, the perfect moveset for Arcanine. Hands down. Hands down, the most perfect moveset for Arcanine. Final Pokemon for today's team is going to be Glamour, and Glamour actually pairs up with Wuxian really, really well. Considering it has Mortal Spin and it can drop Toxic Spikes with its ability, you can poison the opposing team and just stall out with Wuxian. Really, really good paired up with that. I absolutely love it. It's got Toxic Debris, the Assault Best has its item, Mortal Spin for those poisons, Power Gem for Stab, and then two coverage moves with Earth Power and Energy Ball. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that double ladder. Let's grab some wins and showcase Wo Xian. So we're hopping into match number one, going up against a series one team, actually a top tier series one team. It is Arm Rouge and Didi alongside me, Alskarada, Golden Go, Mousehold, and Sylveon. I feel like Fluttermane is going to be really solid for us. And same thing with Wo Xian. Wo Xian is definitely going to be great for us. I really do like it because if they go in DD Arm Rouge, we can counter it with that Dark type. And then we can also Terrasalize in the Poison just to kind of help us out here. So I'm going to lead this Pokemon. I'm going to lead the Wo Xian. And then on top of that, I kind of like this little Arcanine. Arcanine's not bad here. If they want to lead me out or Golden Go, we can get some work done onto it. Or I can just lead my Mortal Spin. Really whatever I want. Or I can just go in the Arcanine, which I'm kind of I'm leaning towards, right? Arcanine is really good. Counters the Arm Rouge combo and Indeedy. Does some work onto Golden Go, onto Miyashkarada. I'm loving Arcanine here. Then we're just going to bring Fluttermane and Glamora. Seems too perfect. Seems too perfect. But yo, bear with me here. If I sneeze or cough during today's video, my nose has been running all day. I've been sneezing throughout work all day. I worked like eight hours and I was constantly sneezing. Constantly sneezing all day. So if I sneezed over recording, I apologize. I apologize. Gonna, gonna try not to. Gonna, gonna do the little nose holds if I can, <laughs> so I don't have to, but let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Our opponent's gonna end up leading me Alskarad and Golden Go, which I, I really like. I really like our, our, our Pokemon with this. So we got the Wu Xian chilling here. Intimidate's gonna come out here for me Alskarad, which is big time. And we're gonna get after it. And we are gonna get after it. Tablet's Ruin's gonna drop all attack. So I'm not really too worried about me Alskarad, right? I'm not really too worried about me Alskarad. So from here, you know what? I could just Leech Seed Golden Go. And then just snarl across the board. Or I can just straight up Flare Blitz this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna Flare Blitz me Asquarad. He might even swap it. Just for a low kick. He's gonna Protean switch into uh 
fighting type, and that's totally fine. That's totally fine, because Flare Blitz is going to fly here, pick up some big time damage onto this. Still, it's not super effective, but still, again, big time damage. And then Leech Seed's going to fly. I wonder if Wuxian is faster than Gold to go. I actually never really looked at stats. I just know this thing's an absolute bulk, and it's a beast. The Shadow Ball flies, and I, I'm totally okay with this turn. We're able to soak really, really well. We're able to get off this Leech Seed, and of course, of course, I was going to say we miss it, but I totally forgot. Good as Gold's a thing. Good as Gold is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts his soul. That hurts his soul. Good as gold. Blocks that. I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. But from here, I just think Snarl might be your play at this point. Snarl, I could actually go into a Leech Seed. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to Leech Seed the... Uh, if you're going for low kicks, I'm just going to Leech Seed the Miascarada. And just Flare Blitz the gold and go. That's my play all day. So player off comes out here. Miascarada is just a straight fighting type, so we can actually Leech Seed it. Flare Blitz should be able to KO. Get it on out of here. I'm cool with this. Yo, again, Wu Qian dropping that attack and then intimidate on top of that. Miyaskarada is really doing no damage. We take a big chunk on recoil. And can we land a Sleet Seed? Can we land a Sleet Seed? First play was my mistake. Made a little dumb, dumb play. But we land our Sleet Seed. Now Wu Qian is just chilling pretty fine here. He's going to get HP back from leftovers and HP back from Sleet Seed. But I totally forgot they nerfed Protean and uh, what's the other one? What's the other ability, Libero, that switches your typings? I totally forgot that they nerfed it. It used to be every single move you would switch your typing. Now it's only one until you swap out and swap back in. But look at my boy, yo. Back up high on the HP board. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I wonder who they're going to send, though. It's going to be Sylveon. So I'm looking to just get off a Snarl on this. Probably maybe two Snarls. I can actually Snarl and then Leech Seed. I can actually Terrasalize Leech Seed, which I really like, and then just Snarl. Just for that special attack drop. Because I'm not too worried about Miascarada. I really am not. Miascarada is just there helping me recover HP with Leech Seed. It's attack stats low. Minus one. Tablet's ruined out on the field. So now all we need to do is swap typings and land a Snarl. And a Leech Seed. And again, Wo Chan can just stall out. Pretty much win games. Like I said in the beginning of today's video. Wo Chan is the real deal when it comes to stall teams. You guys are going to be seeing it all over the rank ladder. You need to be bringing in special attackers to count on this thing. You need to be. Need to be. It's an absolute must. Low kick comes in here. We're able to soak that. Snarl goes before Sylveon, which is big time. So we get that special attack drop. And we swap typing so the fairy is not super effective on my Wuchian. Really, really like that. Hyper Voice comes in here. We're able to soak. Dude, like I said, stall city right here. And lead seed land, yo. You're not taking out my Wuchian. I get leftovers HP and two sets of lead seed. It's game set match. It's game set match. If you guys watch like my older videos... From like Brilliant Diamond, China and Pearl, and Sword and Shield. I love to set up Leech Seed. I like one of my favorite things to do is just set up double Leech Seed and stall out. And this Pokemon is actually gonna be one of my favorites. It's gonna be one of my favorites to use on a Rank Ladder. I don't know why I have so much fun. I guess I just like annoy my opponents, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. It definitely is a, fun, a lot of fun. But yeah, we're pretty much just going to win this game. I'm going to Ruination you. And I'm just gonna snarl down. Actually, I'm just gonna throw a burn on you. I'm just going to burn me Ascarada. You might even swap me Ascarada. Could definitely be to play, but yo, we are thriving good. They can only swap one Pokemon, which is good. So we're going to end up seeing a Terrasalization. Probably maybe a straight fire Sylveon, if I had to guess. Let's see. What you got, Sylveon? Straight Fairy. I'm not worried about you. I could have just snarled again. Probably should have just snarled again. But we're thriving. We are thriving. That thing only has Fairy moves. It's game set match. Sucker Punch comes out here. Going after my Arcanine, and we went for the will o -Wisp, which is big time. The will o -Wisp now lands. We, it's just stall city, yo. Game, set, match. No problem. I'm just toying with my opponent at this point. So we got burns. We got lead seeds out here. Hyper Voice comes out. But yeah, I was kind of hoping Arcanine would die quicker. Because say it would have died last turn, I would just brought out Glamora. Mortal Spin put the poisons on the opponent and then had lead seed damage just chipping away. The Ruination is going to come out here. Splits HP in half. Which is really, really good, especially with a stall Pokemon like him. So you can get rid of some big-time Pokemon. And now we get Leftovers, Double Leech Seed, Poison Damage now. It's all coming out. We got a lot on the field right now. We got a lot happening. We got a lot <laughs> happening. <laughs> this is too much fun. But yeah, I can bring out Glamour now. I mean, Glamour is not bad. I mean, we already put a burn on Miascarada. And Miascarada is going to die next turn to Leech Seed and burn. So I might just Mortal Spin. Or I could just win this game. Yeah, we can start to win this game, right? Yeah, let's just bring let's just bring out Miascarada. Or not Miascarada, let's just bring out Flutterbeam. Let's win this game. 
Let's win this game. We have choice spec. Uh, I think we're just gonna snarl and I guess we'll just move blast. Move blast you down. I probably should have choice to a gleam, but it's all good. It is all good. But again, that's what's really good about Wochia and pairing up with special attackers. It doesn't drop its special attack. It only drops physical attack, so, so that's why Biascarada is doing like no damage. But we take out Sylveon with that. The stall was perfect. We still have Wuxian at full HP. They were never killing me. And Flower Trick's gonna fire, which we're able to soak because it's not stab anymore. Look at that. No damage. No damage. Snarl comes through here, brings this thing down to pretty much 2 HP, and the burn's just gonna take it out. Actually, the Leechee's gonna do it. Leechee comes out before the burn. The Oscarada. See you later. That might be my first time killing a grass type Pokemon with a Leech Seed, so that's pretty cool. So now our opponent's gonna bring out their final Pokemon. Probably something fun to make it just rip into with Moon Blast. It's gonna be Mouse Hold. Yeah, and yeah, I'm not I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Just cancel the battle. Just cancel the battle. I'll go for a Ruination. And I'll just keep sending my choice spec Moon Blast onto this opponent. But yo, Wo Chen, the real deal. I'm actually super, super happy that was our first battle on recording. Moon Blast flies here. How much damage are we doing? Wow, we just KO'd. Was that a crit? No, we just slapped that thing. We just smacked it. 1-0 to get this video started. Second match coming at you guys. And this one's going to be a little bit tougher for us. We're going up against a Chi Yu team. So Chi Yu actually boosts the special or lowers the special defense onto Pokemon. So with that being said, Wo Shan doesn't really do much up against its team, right? It will, it, will, it will deal with the, the Don fan and the Iron Hands, but the Chi Yu and Fluttermane combo is going to be a problem. So how should we play up against this one? How should we go? And I think maybe like a Pokemon like Arcanine could be good, right? We can just Snarl right off the rip. And then Fluttermane on top of that, right? I do like Arcanine here. I'm going to go Arcanine for a lead. I am going to. I think I'm going to bring Don Dozo combo. We're going to go Arcanine, Fluttermane, and then Dantozo, Tasugiri. Really am liking that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to go back to back here in match number two. But again, our only problem here with this match is going to be Chi Yu and Fluttermane, in my opinion. That's what I think is going to be a problem. But we didn't even bring Wo Xian. We didn't even bring it. I should have brought it. I like having that Pokemon. But yeah, we're not going to bring it, considering too many special attackers. Try not to deal with that. I feel like Dantozo and Tasugiri can really carry this team, too. But Fluttermane, Marco, come out here. I mean, I'm just going to rip into that. He's going to set up a Tailwind. And I just think Snarl is going to be our play. I could also Terrasilize. I could also Terrasilize. He could also Protect here. Which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just Snarling and... Oh, I can't Protect. I forgot I'm Choice. I do have Steel Terror. I do have Steel Terror. And you know, I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to uh, Terrasilize into Steel. Drop it as a Gleam. That is going to be my play. Let's do it. Because we already know Tailwind's happening. We already know that. It ain't no problem. I think he's going to go Tailwind and then maybe try to get Chi Yu out there, right? We could just hard swap him to Chi Yu. That could be an option here, too. But that is a little bit of a problem because if Chi Yu comes in here, we're Steel type Pokemon. This is going to rip me with the Heat Wave. Especially in Tailwind. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. But we're just trying to get rid of their Fluttermane right here, right now. Because again, we have Don Dozo to kind of counter that. Unless it has a really good Terror type. But I think we should be fine. Tailwind comes out and about. I'm hoping a Shadow Ball comes into my Fluttermane slot. Let me go from there. Yep, it does. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're going to be able to soak. And actually, that did a lot more than I thought. And that's the reason why. Nice little light bulb on our opponent. So we end up going for a Dazzling Gleam. Bringing the Murkrow down to 1 HP. But our opponent doesn't care for the Murkrow, right? Got off its Tailwind. It already did what it needed to do. Snarl now flies. Brings the Fluttermane to minus 1. And we should be able to eat up another Shadow Ball. So I might hard swap my Fluttermane here, right? I could hard swap it into Don Dozo, which would be a good call. Well, I Snarl. Ooh, yeah. Swap into Don Dozo, start Snarling down. I like that a lot. Because Chi Yu is 100% coming out here. Chi Yu is 1000% coming out here. It's going to be Chi Yu. I do. I, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared of this thing. We already know it's coming out here. No, it's Iron Hands. What? Iron Hands? Iron Hands comes out here? Okay. I mean, I'll go for a burn on the thing. Burn and then a gleam. I mean, they're going to fake out my fun. I mean, no, you opt to fake out the Arcanine. That's fine because Shadow Ball is going to go into you. That's totally fine. 
I don't mind that one bit, because now we pick up a KO on the Fluttermane, and we do some big-time damage on the Iron Hands. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to look to still burn the Iron Hands, right? If we could burn them and take them out for the rest of the match, that'd be good. But I'm really curious to see who its final Pokemon's going to be. It's going to be a Moogus. They still have Thrasilization, so Terra might come out here. But yeah, I'm just going to opt to throw a burn on whoever, whoever it is, and then Dazzle Gleam is going to fly. Keep on gleaming, baby. Keep on gleaming. Maybe we should double down on Iron Hands. But the problem would be if they go for Rage Powder. Because what I'm thinking here is say they Rage Powder. They KO me with J Punch. Get some HP back. But again, it's not going to do anything crazy. Nothing crazy. I ain't worried. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Gotta stay hydrated, ladies and gents. But out comes Terra. Probably Grass Terra on the Iron Hands, right? Water, that's actually a really good Terra for up against me. A lovely little Terra. Still looking for this nice lovely burn. Rage Powder comes out here. But I'll take a burn onto a Lugus, right? Slowly chip up some damage onto that. Then I'll just Flare Blitz the next turn. If he doesn't carry my Arcanine. The Gleam chips up, chips up some nice damage. Willow Mist flies onto the Lugus. And now we shall get after it. So we get the burn over there. I wish it was on the Iron Hands, but it's fine. Out comes the Drain Punch. They pick up the KO, and I still think we're thriving here, right? Flare Blitz into the Moogus, and then just bring out Don Dozo. I could actually just go Tatsugiri and Draco Meteor, right? Actually, Tatsugiri would be faster. Yeah, we'll go Don Dozo. Little bit of Don Dozo action. Never hurt anybody. And we have the lovely uh, Life Orb on this Pokemon. I can get down with that. The Don Dozo now comes out here. Uh, We're going to go for the Flare Blitz. Opt for the Flare Blitz. Terra Blast isn't really going to do anything. And I guess we'll just start EQing. No, we won't EQ just yet. I guess we'll go for a Wave Crash. If anything. Let's see what Amoogus does. Another Rage Powder? Possibly, right? It is an option. It is definitely an option. The Flare Blitz flies. That should can no problem, right? See you later. Amoogus gone. We'll probably die to recoil damage. Or maybe live on like one. Give me the free focus ash from recoil. 15 HP. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's not a free focus ash. Because we have berry as well. Lovely little blueberries. Love me a nice little blueberry. Train punch comes into you. You're able to eat. We like that a lot. We like that a lot. So from here, I'm just going to try to throw a burn on the iron hands. And just win this match, right? <coughs> There's the call I was talking about. Knew one was coming. I knew one was coming. But Don is gonna take some recoil damage, and I think we just KO our Arcanine, right? Their Tailwind's gone. Now nah, we'll just burn this thing. And I guess we'll just keep wave crashing. Or we can see how much damage Terror Blast can do. Willow Wisp ends up landing. That's big time, yo. We've been landing our leech seeds and Willow Wisp all day today. No problem. It's no problem. So we end up burning him Terror Blast. How much damage are you doing? Probably nothing, right? Yeah, Terra Blast without Terrasalization, I realized that's like my second time using it. It's god awful. It does like zero damage. It does like zero damage. You would think it would do more because it's like, you would just think it's like a normal move. But it's not. The only way to make it normal, really, is to just normal Terrasalize. It's weird. It is so weird. It is so weird. But Burn's gonna chip up, more importantly, half its physical attack stat. And now we just bring out Tatsugiri and one EQ should finish this matchup. Love the little Tatsugiri. I love how Tatsugiri has like one eyebrow raised. He's like, what you mean, dog? <laughs> he just looks funny. He definitely looks funny. We're going to boost all our stats. And again, one EQ should pretty much finish off this match. I'm kind of scared of this EQ not KOing and then him killing us with like a crit. Right? Like a crit uh, electric move. But EQ should finish this thing off. And it does. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0. Did not bring in Woshien in the second match. But I'll bring him in the third match to try to grab ourselves a perfect record. Final match coming at you guys. We're going up against a really cool team. And a lot of them are physical attackers. So Woshien can actually get some work done. So I'm definitely going to lead it. But they got Tinkaton, Slow King, uh, Torkoal, Baxcalibur, Quackwaval, who I haven't seen on the rank ladder in a while, and Star Raptor. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. Like I said, Wu Xian, 
gonna be bringing out here gonna be leading it and i think i'm gonna lead it with my mortal spin glamora i think that's just best option for us right i think it and then we can either bring it down those or arcanine fundamate but i really like arcanine fundamate a bit more here so i'm just gonna lock it in i'm gonna lock it out let's wrap this video up look for another perfect record with uh uh temple of ruins pokemon or legends of ruin whatever you guys want to call them <laughs> but yeah the last one i have to showcase is uh ting lu lowers the special attack of pokemon really really good up against some paradox pokemon like iron bundle and Fluttermane, and this the brand new series actually starts tomorrow, so that might be my first team I use on the rank lab. So we bring out Wo Shen, we bring out this thing, uh, Trick Room, a little bit of a problem. Trick Room is definitely a problem. Why, wait, why didn't Drought come out? Hold up. You're not Drought? That is definitely weird. I'm actually going to just Leech Seed this thing, and throw a Power Gem into the slot. <laughs> I'm gonna do that instead of mortal spinning. I kind of can get down with that. Hopefully the Torkoal's not protecting. <coughs> if the Torkoal doesn't protect, we get off a big time power gem. Neglect a lot of eruption damage, but if it protects and pops Shurkrim, got a little bit of problem. But he ends up just withdrawing it. I don't mind it. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Quackle Vol comes out here. It's a little weird. Quackle Vol. Why would you go Quackle Vol for the power gem? I guess that, that's what it's for. I was just protect, but we end up landing a lovely lead seed, and we start setting up here. We already have our ruins ability out and about, so Quackle Ball is not going to be doing a lot of damage. So I'm not worried about it. Lead seed's going to give us some HP back here, and I think I might just start snarling, right? Snarl and try to get off an energy ball. Actually, I could just have poison. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh my god I'm starting to cough a lot in this third battle guys but yeah i'm gonna start trying to get off my poisons if i can get off my poisons that could be big time but i'm kind of worried about quackle ball just KOing us we shall see quackle ball can probably ko my glamora not my wish yet no shots killing my wish yet no shot i mean close combat could be do some big damage but i think with that 25 percent decrease i think we're thriving I think we're thriving, but I love it's little like cone that Woshen has. You see that little like cardboard or whatever it is, wrapping around it in a spiral. Kind of funny, but he ends up withdrawing Slow King, getting rid of the Leech Seed. He's gonna go into Bax Caliber. So the Bax he comes out. And I'm thinking of just Trasalizing my Woshen after this. I'm thinking of doing that. I'm thinking of just poisoning. Well, we are gonna poison the Bax Caliber, but I'm thinking of just Leech Seeding that thing and then just going from there. But two physical attackers out here. Tablets of, the Tablets of Ruins are going to be awesome. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be lovely. Snarl's going to come out here. We'll get a special attack drop on a physical attacker. It's so perfect. It ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. <coughs> okay, so this thing has a little bit of leftovers. I'm going to lead seed him up. I'm going to have the poison chip it on him as well. I'm going to go for the lead seed. Actually, I'm going to lead seed Quackle Ball. And because, and I might just power jump into this thing because Bax Caliber is going to get poisoned a lot and we're going to be fine. Maybe I probably should have uh, terrestrialized my Woshi in here. That might have been a mistake on my part, but we'll deal with it. Because, yeah, this thing's just going to go straight dragon and try to, try to KO me, right? Either with an ice move or a uh, dragon move. <coughs> Aqua Step comes out here. That's going to go after Glamour. Can he soak? You don't. That's a big time damage. And now we're sitting in a tough spot, actually. We do get the spikes. I forgot about them. I love it. I love the spikes. I love the spikes. And what are you going for, Maxi? Oh, Maxi boost too. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. He's gonna go for a glaive rush, which we should eat. We should eat. Actually, I don't know. That's some. It's gonna hit hard. We do eat. Okay, cool. Can we land a sleep seed? We do. So now we get lead seed HP and leftovers HP. We do have to worry about Quack Wall. You don't have to worry about that, but I'm just gonna go into Arcanine here. I'm just gonna go to go into go into Arcanine, get the Intimidate. We got the Leech Seed, we got the leftovers. I doubt he's gonna swap Quackle Ball, right? Probably not with the Aqua Step boost and the Moxie boost. <coughs> so this match is actually really close. 
Getting some HP back might have to protect our wish yet here. Poison chipping up. It's going to do more and more each turn. And I'm just going to bring out the lovely Arcanine. Intimidate drop on these Pokemon could be huge. So we bring Quackle Ball back to normal. We go minus one onto the back Scalibur. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Dope, dope, dope. So what I'm thinking of doing here is just protecting you. And just... I guess just snarling. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can. We could terrasslash you. We could definitely terrasslash you. I'm gonna terrasslash you and just snarl. I just want to keep my boy alive. I'm not really doing it for any damage. We just want to keep this Pokemon alive. Because at this point, we're kind of, we're trying to stall a little bit. We have Leech Seed on the Quackle Ball. We have Poison on the Max Calibur. And we're just trying to stall. We're trying to keep our, our Pokemon as alive as long as we can. But the problem with Terrasalizing into Grass is Max Calibur can be super effective onto it. But with the Tablets, Intimidate, I don't see him doing that much damage. I just don't. I just do not. So we Terrasalize into Grass. We're not dealing with an Aqua Step, right? Aqua Step for 5 KOs. Hits hard. And we'll go from there. Max Calibur ends up protecting. That's cool. I mean, you're just going to take some more poison damage. And I'm just going to protect my Wushien. That's fine. Aqua Step coming out here. We're able to soak. Again, stall's working pretty good right now. He gets the speed boost. You were already faster than my Pokemon. And he lose damage to Lifer, which is big for us. Snarl comes out here. And we're chipping him with some more damage. Okay. <coughs> I don't mind. I do not mind. The left is coming out here. We got this going here, and I might have to set up a lead seat onto uh, Bax Calibur, right? But they still have four Pokemon, which is wild. They still got four. Four Pokemans. Four of the Pokemans. I think I keep Starling with Arcanine just in case they want to swap. I do like that. So I'm just going to go lead seat this slot and just keep Starling down the board. Because after this turn, Quackle Ball, if it does stand, we are going to KO it with the lead seat and the life orb damage it's going to take. And if he ends up protecting here and only taking one lead seed, we'll just protect next turn. Kill it like that. But again, we're going to stall this battle out. We're looking for the long stall for the long victory. And I think we can pull it off. So he ends up withdrawing back to Calibur. This is, this is exactly why I snarled. And Slow King's going to come out here. <laughs> so Slow King now gets a special attack drop. It gets poison from Toxic Debris. And we set up a lead seed onto it. Oh my god, I love it. Great break coming out here. Wow. That's some big time damage. That is some big time damage. So, Black Hole Ball is going to go down, but I still think we're thriving here. Everybody's going to get poisoned that hops in here. Their fastest Pokemon just went down. Their whole team's going to be poisoned, and we're going to have Lead Sheet set up if you can land it. But my boy hasn't missed yet, and he continues his tear. Love it. Love not missing Lead Sheet, because that is terrible. When you miss a Lead Sheet, it kind of ruins your whole play. It really does, but yo, this Pokemon's the real deal. Stall City. This is the best stall Pokemon I use. I mean, Toxapec and Solos is a different story, but this Pokemon's real deal. <coughs> Alright, so we got Poisons, we got Leech Seed, we have two Pokemon left. And I like the two Pokemon that we have. Fluttermane can deal some big time damage. We got Poisons on everybody. Torkoal might come out here. But it's gonna be Baxcalibur. So Baxi comes back out here. I think we just win this match, right? I'm just going to Snarl, and then on top of that, I'm just going to throw a Gleam, because Gleam will KO the back Calibur, no problem. And starting to Snarl down a Slow King is definitely the play. This is already minus one, and then if we can just KO back Calibur, then it can't be swapped out. Torkoal's no problem. We'll start ripping into it. Ooh, actually, Torkoal could be a problem. A little bit of a problem, right? I mean, I can ruin Nation it. But that's some things not gonna do anything crazy to it. Let's see how this one plays out. He had some hard swapping back scalper, which a little weird, a little weird, but we'll deal with it. A little weird. I'll actually take that because I get a snarl off on that thing, and now that Pokemon's poisoned. Yo, toxic debris, <laughs> going crazy. Gleam flies here, does a little bit of damage to Torkoal. Snarl's gonna throw, come out here, and more importantly, get the special attack drop on two heavy special attackers. So Slow King's gonna die this turn, which is big time. Trick Room is out and about. And we'll go from there. 
Wow, this match is coming down to the wire. Coming down to the wire. Lee C coming out here. We're going to finish off the boy here, right? Bring it down to like 1 HP and then Poison's going to chip away. So we got the Poison, yo. <laughs> this is it. The, the final turns are coming at us. We probably got like one or two more turns left in this match. Now the problem here is him just outspeeding KO my Fluttermane, right? Big time problem. Yeah, we got the Poisons. We got the Poisons. We got the minus one on the Torkoal. Um, I kind of want to try to set up a Leech Seed on somebody. All right, Torkoal, right? Because I'm going to try to Leech Seed. I'm just going to Gleam across the board here. They might double down on my Fluttermane. They might take us out. But I need a Leech Seed. I need some HP recovery out and about. Lava Plume comes out here. I'm able to soak. No burns, no burns, no burns, please. Thermal exchange. Ooh, 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 ooh. Leech seed, no. My first leech seed miss. I needed you. I need you. And this thing digs. It goes for a dig. He goes for a dig. Gleam's gonna fly here. A dig. He really just digged on me. He really just dropped a dig. This thing has a berry. Little scary. But yo, it is coming down to it. I definitely need to get some leech seed out here. Lava Plume didn't do anything. Why does this thing not have drought? Really weird. You always see some weird stuff when you're on a casual ladder. But weird in like a fun way. The poison's chipping up. It should chip up with Baxcalibur too. Which it does. And then from here... Again, I just want the Leech Seed HP. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna Gleam. Leech Seed and Gleam. I don't feel like we need to protect just yet. But yo, Wo Shen's eyes, yo, I always, I, I like them too. They're on like, it's antlers or little twigs, whatever those things are. This, I'm loving this Pokemon. One of my favorite Legends Ruined Pokemon to use. He's going to end up yawning me, which is fine if I can land this Leech Seed. I don't mind going to sleep with this Pokemon. He can now bulk a lot of shots and we get the Leech Seed off. That's big time for us. I think we have this match. I don't think you KO here, Max Caliber. Almost. Almost with that thermal exchange boost, but now we gleam. It's game set match. We got lead sheet, we got poison. I just protect this next turn. And finally, this long match is over. I love it though. Again, I love playing Saltines. Wo Chien is one of my favorite Pokemon to use in Scarlet and Violet. Hands down. After using it today, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Look at it. It's still at full HP after this. After we get this lead sheet, it is at full HP. The lead sheet comes out here. And then poison should KO, I think. But that's crazy. Wo Chien did not die today. Insane. This poison KO, it does not. And I'm just going to protect it and gleam. And that's game set match. Protect and gleam. Battle was canceled. 3 0. Absolutely played amazing today. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0 with Wo Chien. I'm telling you guys, use this team for Series 3. If you guys like to play some stall themes, this team is absolutely amazing. If you go up against any sort of physical attack team, you pretty much have the win in the bag with Wu Qian, setting up Leech Seeds, and then poisoning or burning with the other Pokemon. Again, absolutely OP. Just showcased in today's video and grabbed yourselves a 3-0 record. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.